Hello and welcome back to the Tom FM channel. Hope you're all doing well today and looking forward to another experiment on the channel. This time we're going to find out if a goalkeeper can keep a 100% clean sheet record in the league. Me and my mate Gabriel Jesus, whose transfer saga is set to develop, we want to know the answer, so we're finding out in today's experiment. So for the premise of this experiment, we need a team who don't normally concede a lot of goals in the first place. So you know, teams like Liverpool, Man City, or the teams right up here at the top of the world, they don't typically concede a lot of goals. The issue is they do play in divisions where other teams around them are very good going forward. And I just don't think it's ever going to be possible for like a Liverpool goalkeeper to keep a 100% clean sheet record in the league playing every single game possible. So basically what we need to look for is a team that are dominant in their division, but the other teams in their division are terrible going forward. And I think I found the perfect team. Welcome to Lincoln Red Imps FC based in Gibraltar. This is the team that I've chosen. They play in the newly formed Gibraltar National League. But before the Gibraltar National League was formed, they played in the Gibraltar First Division. They won 22 league titles. And as you can see, between 2001 and 2019, I think they only lost the 2017 title, so that they're pretty dominant, aren't they? Incidentally, the Gibraltar National League league structure is available on the Steam Workshop. Football Manager themselves made it and put it available on the Steam Workshop. So if you want to go and download it, I recommend go and have a look on the Steam Workshop for it by searching, I think it's SI Games. There's also a Canadian Premier League structure on there as well that SI Games made as well, so check that out as well if you want to. So we've got the team, we've got Lincoln who play in the Gibraltar National League, a very good team in a division where, going forward, the other teams aren't necessarily going to be the best players in the world. We've also signed up everyone's favourite English goalkeeper playing in Gibraltar. It's uh, Conor O'Keefe. Now, he's actually a YouTuber himself. Uh, he sort of documents his journey to become a footballer from university into the professional game. And he's uh, moved over to Gibraltar to play actually for Europa Point FC, but uh, currently plays for Lincoln Gibraltar in Miskal. I moved him over there for the sake of this. But uh, if you want to go and check out his stuff, I'll put a link in the description on top of the screen right now. Go check his videos out. They are fantastic. And uh, leave comments saying that I sent you because that would be great. Anyway, as you can see, we have have uh, altered Connor's attributes just a little bit, just just a little tiny bit. We have made him the very best goalkeeper in the world, but even with that, it's going to be so difficult for him to keep a 100% clean sheet record in the league because penalties, I mean, penalties, even the best goalkeeper in the world is going to concede some penalties. You can have two on one situations where your striker can pass to another striker to get around the keeper. It's going to be so difficult, but hopefully... Conor O'Keefe will do it for us. His free kick taking is now 20 out of 20. I'll be interested to see if he actually scores goals this season. Will he score more goals than he concedes? That's the question I think we've got to all ask ourselves now. Now, you may have picked up on the fact that I keep specifically saying league goals, and that is because Lincoln Red Imps always win the league. They always go into the Champions League, and they're never going to win the Champions League. At some point, they're going to concede some goals in there because they will come up against some very, very good clubs. So if we can just focus on goals in the league, keep a 100% clean sheet record in the league, that's that's the aim for this experiment. We've got 11 years to do it because in 2030, he's going to move to Man City. That's the only way we can sort of keep him at the club. If we put a future transfer in there, he can stay at the club. If we didn't have a future transfer in there for him, he's likely to leave the club before the season even starts because every single club in the world would want him as their goalkeeper. So he's got that future transfer in there. So he actually stays at Lincoln Red Imps for another 11 seasons or so. So everything is in place. It's all time to go. I'm going to jump a season into the future and see how he gets on. So in the meantime, if you like the idea of this experiment please do drop a like on the video for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and also remember we've got a weekly target on the channel right now we're setting some weekly targets this week it's trying to get 300 people into the discord sub which is like a a big chat room for all of us as a Tom FM community and it's great to see you there. We started off this week on 150 members. We're now up to nearly 250. If we get to 300 by the end of the week, you've got a bonus video. So look forward to that one. Anyway, I'm going to jump into the future. So I will see you very shortly. So a year into the future and we can see that Conor O'Keefe got the highest average rating in the entire division, which is fantastic. But Lincoln Gibraltar did lose one game, which does suggest they did actually concede some goals. Hopefully Conor was injured for those games. That's what we're hoping for. But if we click on to him, look at his history, we can see he conceded eight goals in the league this season. So uh, nowhere near zero or 100% clean sheet record, unfortunately. 14 clean sheets though, which is very impressive out of uh, 21 games. So he's done pretty well for himself, but it's eight goals too many conceded, isn't it? It's just eight goals too many. So we go again. Season two, and it's uh, it's got a little bit worse. Lincoln Gibraltar have come second in the league behind Europa FC. That's not good. To make it worse, Europa FC haven't lost a game this season. So potentially the Europa goalkeeper might have had a better season than our superstar Conor O'Keefe. We'll check out on Conor first things first. If we look at the player senior squad, 
Uh, goalkeepers, where is he? Where, where is he? He is still at the club, but he's currently in the under-23 squad, which doesn't make a huge amount of sense to me. I don't know why he's playing for the under-23s, but there we go. How's the season gone for him? 21 games, only five goals conceded this season with 16 clean sheets. So it's a bit of progress, but I'm not entirely sure why he keeps getting put in the under-23 squad. Interestingly as well, he's not playing any continental games. He's playing some cup games, but nothing in Europe. And that seemed a little bit odd because they are in Europe and they're not using their goalkeeper. I mean, we can't click on these fixtures, unfortunately, but for whatever reason, he's not playing the Europa Champions League or Europa League games and things like that, which seems a little bit strange. Let's check on the goalkeeper of Europa FC then. He played 29 games this season and how many goals did he concede? 10. So actually, Connor's done a bit better than him, which is absolutely fine. It's just that Europa didn't lose. Okay, so we're going to go forward for another season, the third season, and then after that, we'll speed up just a little bit by going a few seasons at a time as well. Season three, it looks good because Gibraltar are back on top of the table. Didn't lose a single game. They did draw two though. And that does suggest that they uh, have considered goals there. That is a 1-1 draw with the Europa FC there. But hopefully we'll see some improvement from Connor keeping more clean sheets. That would be great to see. Second in average ratings this season for Connor. How'd he get on? Oh, only four goals conceded this season. He's getting better. This is, this is good progress, I think. 21 games played, four goals conceded, 17 clean sheets. No goals, by the way. I've just noticed no goals. We did say we'll look out for goals, didn't we? But he's not... I don't quite understand why he's not on free kicks. If he's got that good a free kick on him, 20 out of 20 on free kicks, surely he'd be taking them. But it's still a pretty decent record, though. 97 games played, 17 goals conceded. Although, actually, 32 of those games are from this 2015-16 season where he didn't actually have any registered conceded goals in Football Manager. So that is a very good record, actually. But it's slightly skewed somewhat by not having any data for that season other than league appearances. Okay, so now's the time to go a bit further and faster into the future. Uh, I'm going to go another three seasons into the future this time. So we'll be in 2025 and that will be six years in the future since we started. So back into the Gibraltar National League 2025. By looks of things, Lincoln Gibraltar have won the season every single year, which is fantastic. You love to see it. Have, though, they kept a clean sheet in every single league game. Connor's still looking good with 20 out of 20 on absolutely everything. The born leader, apparently, has he kept a clean sheet in every single season? He did! The 2022-23 season, he kept a clean sheet in every single game he played. Wow, it's actually possible. I didn't think it would be. I thought we'd get pretty close, but I was thinking, you know, penalties, freak mistakes. It's got to happen at some point. But this season, he kept out... Every single goal, or shot I should say, every single shot. Even more incredibly, he's actually kept a clean sheet in every single game he's played, in every single competition. However, he's only actually played one cup game, nothing in the continental competitions either, which does seem bizarre. I don't know why he's not playing cup games or in continental competitions, because that would make a lot of sense to me, given how good he is as a, goal, as a goalkeeper. But I don't know, they seem to prefer other keepers in those competitions and he gets to play all the league games. It doesn't matter, we've done it. We've actually kept a clean sheet every single season. He came really close as well in the uh, next two seasons as well. Always got these under 23 appearances as well. I'm not entirely sure what that's about, but uh, the season after that he conceded three goals there in three separate games. He kept uh, 18 clean sheets, which was great. And then the season that we just had, he conceded one goal there. One goal in the league. Oh, you hate to see that. That's rather frustrating. You could have had two, two clean sheet seasons. That would have been great. But still, it's, it's a big achievement, that. At least now we do have an actual proper answer. You can keep a clean sheet in every single game in a season in Football Manager. So we've actually got another six years or so until he leaves the club to go to Man City. So I'm going to go and simulate all those seasons and uh, see if he can do it again. So we're now in 2030, another five years, not six years, like I said, uh, just before we went into the future. So five years into the future, 2030 now, he's about to go to Man City. Uh, and as you can see, Lincoln Gibraltar won the league every single season, which is a great sign. Conor O'Keefe still up there in the top average ratings as well, up to a 7.66 average rating there, which is great to see. You know what? He's got a 7.66 average rating, and yet he's got other players better than him. Goalkeepers are criminally underrated in terms of average ratings. Criminally underrated, I think. He deserves higher. A quick look at his history then, and he's he's not managed to keep a clean sheet a season again, but he's he's done very well. Two goals considered that season, one that season, three that season, one that season, and one that season. He's done brilliantly well. Like, and the thing is, obviously, this this does help only having 21 league games in a season. That helps massively because if you know, the Premier League or a League Two or a League One club in England, for example, you're playing more than double that, aren't you? 
so we, we are quite lucky with that. That's also why I chose Gibraltar, because there aren't that many league games to play and things like that. It makes it a bit easier for us to keep those clean sheets. But gosh, he's done very well. So close every single time. You know what? I think we can consider this experiment as a success. Definitely. This experiment is a success. Unlike the trying to score 100 goals in a season, that wasn't a success. We did that a few months ago and that didn't really go down so well. That We couldn't score 100 goals. That was just not possible. Anyway, I'm going to bring the episode to an end there because I think we've done very well with that one. So if you have enjoyed it, please do drop a like on the video for me. And uh, of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Get yourself on the Discord. And if you want all the save files from this, they're over on the Patreon as well. So go and check that one out as well. Right. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.